Well, what's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I've finally gotten around to making a video I've been wanting to for a while. A lot of us text and drive, even though we shouldn't. So in this video, let me convince you never to do that again. I'm gonna show you guys what happens when you're texting and driving and your airbag goes off. So we're pretty much testing airbag versus iPhone 6S in multiple scenarios. I wanna see how the explosive impact of airbags, it can be deadly if they're tuned improperly, would compare to an iPhone 6S. And these are all working uh, examples of the iPhone 6S. So we're pretty much gonna be testing what it's like to receive an airbag to the face while holding an iPhone in front of it. We're gonna launch an iPhone up using an airbag and uh, destroy an iPhone with two airbags on the side. So got a lot of scenarios here, I'm really excited. Let's get to it. So guys, I just want you guys to know, uh, we've got a trained professional here who's gonna be setting these up for me. Uh, don't play with airbags, they're very, very dangerous. All right, so before I get into the juice with the other ones, I wanted to run a control and uh, see how this works. So I've got various airbags from different sizes, different areas of the car. I got this Red Bull here. So let's go ahead and do control real quick and uh, see what happens. All right, go. three, two, one. Wow, so check that out. Absolutely destroyed. Now this is just a Red Bull can, but I did not expect that ferocity coming from an airbag that small, wow. So it's true, they can really kill you if uh, they're not used properly. So, man, I did not expect that to be honest. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on and do the first iPhone. So now that I know that the power is really, really strong on airbags, we're gonna go ahead and take a really big dashboard one place this brand new iPhone 6s with that 3d touch display and uh, set it right here so I think this thing will be absolutely mangled it'll be launched up at least 100 feet up in the air and uh, I'm honestly a little concerned because I don't think I'll be able to find it after I have found my iPhone enabled on it but I don't think that can get very very close to the spot so let's hope for the best and see what happens when we launch an iPhone on a dashboard airbag primed and ready so Three, two, one. Right there. Okay. All right, so here it is. It doesn't look too bad. Actually, it just looks like it got a nice uh, boost upwards. Oh wow, cool, nothing happened. So a little dirt in the ports, but other than that, wow. You saw the Red Bull can, that thing got mangled, but wow, this thing really is durable, huh? I honestly did not expect this thing to survive, but let's go ahead and move on to the next test. All right, so for this test, I thought I'd try something different, and uh, here I've got a locked deposit box from a bank. I'll uh, make sure the correct code is in there. We've got an airbag just for your pleasure in here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and stick this guy in here at an angle. Hopefully, uh, we'll see what happens. I think it'll get completely mangled inside. So set that right there. Lock the box in. And your possessions are stored. Let's go ahead and blow it up. All right. Three, two, one. All right, I don't know how easy this is to see, but in about a few feet of these bushes, I see my iPhone in there. Good luck to me getting it. All right, so I found our missing iPhone. Check that out. That is the impact of a caged airbag. Oh my gosh, does this thing work? No response. No response from vibration motor. Let's try and power it on. Oh my gosh. Yeah, completely dead. Oh my gosh, who said the iPhone 6S doesn't bend? They were wrong, it bends and cracks. All right, we got a couple more tests. This was just the beginning. So here is that security lockbox. Absolutely demolished. <laughs> my goodness, that's just crazy. 
All right, so for the next test, we actually rigged two airbags side by side with an iPhone in between them to get the maximal carnage. And uh, let's go ahead and see what happens. Three, two, one. All right, so I can't even tell if this thing's still alive. Oh, it is. I feel the vibration motor. Listen to that. Oh my gosh. So this thing is alive. The backlight is possibly functioning. I'm not sure if I'm seeing things, but it doesn't work anymore. This thing completely took a huge impact. Look at that. Both sides still works though. That's the coolest thing. The vibration motor. No home button, nothing else, but Cool, so last and final test. So we all know we shouldn't text and drive, but does that stop people? No, maybe an iPhone to the face will. So we're gonna test and see what happens if we explode an airbag, you're texting, and that iPhone meets your face. To simulate a face, we actually have a turkey, and it's almost Thanksgiving, so we're getting in the spirit here. We're gonna mount a turkey on here, and this guy, uh, we're gonna see what happens if you're texting, your airbag goes off after a car accident, and your face is right there. All right, so we got this Porsche four-spoke steering wheel. Lots of power in there to save your life or kill you if you're texting. So I got a 6S right here, brand new. Let's go ahead. Oh, it's already on. So uh, just to show you guys, this is the 3D Touch enabled. This guy's having a grand time playing with his new success. So what happens when it comes crashing through his skull after an impact? And uh, this is why you shouldn't text, guys. Three, two, one. <laughs> Don't breathe this. All right, so I can't find my phone in the face, but let's see. Oh, still uh, working good. Just got a whole bunch of juice on it. Okay, so if you end up texting and the airbag goes off, but you aren't moving forward, then you should be okay. You will get your hand broken though, poor guy. That's it, but he's still uh, good. Just some fractures right there. I don't know, this guy might need a trip to the hospital. <laughs> but the iPhone is okay. I honestly thought it would get impaled in the turkey, but close enough, right? But there you guys go. So we had some fun, had a whole bunch of airbags, and uh, pretty much don't get in a car accident with an iPhone. It won't fare very well, especially if it's near it. But man, airbags are really powerful tools. Be careful around them. Be safe, guys. Don't text and drive. You guys should be fine. So let's go ahead and cook a Thanksgiving dinner and uh, enjoy this working iPhone. Peace.